Hey guys, it's Jannat. It's Krithleen. Welcome back to Sidhu Vlogs. So guys, today we are going to react to the Mark Wiens in the Pakistan series in a video. Pe. Uh, so this is about the fast food tour in Karachi, Islamabad and Lahore. So guys, this video is in the original link description. So check out it from there and then see our reaction. Ready? Ready. Ready. Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand and just sitting down for a really simple, quick lunch. It looks like a oh, donut wow. and fried egg. All oh, the yolk, Bangkok. take a bite, get chilies. Huh? There's basil on here. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Yeah, that's delicious. But ever since I took a trip to Pakistan, which was really, it was the trip of a lifetime, I have been wanting to go back to Pakistan. Nice Welcome to Karachi. I'm okay. very excited to be back. Okay. I want to say a huge thank you to Pepsi for sponsoring this video. Oh. Today, actually in this video, we are going to go on an ultimate Western Pakistani continental street food tour. We're starting in Karachi. We're gonna go to Islamabad. We're gonna go to Lahore. We're gonna eat burgers. We're gonna the mm -hmm. chutneys are gonna flow. I mean, burgers were just not good. I'm gonna share everything with you yeah, in this video. And again, Fried a chicken. huge thank you to Pepsi for making this happen. Western Pakistan. You know me, Mitchy. We just arrived to a place called Nursery Burger. Oh, you can smell the burger fumes in the air. Chapli kebab jaisa. Wow. Wow. And cha cha. Okay, Their burger production at Nursery Burger is so impressive. Just like watching so many of the Pakistani dishes prepared. Three different types that you can order. You can order the beef chapli, which is like a hamburger. You can order the chicken chapli, which is like a chicken burger. And then you can order the vegetable, which is like a, looks like a potato patty. Those all go onto the hot plate. Uh, then on the other side of the hot plate, he uh, takes the sweet chapli, puts that onto the bun. Then he loads it up with a mixture of onions, and it looks like there's some coriander in there, and it looks like some maybe some slices of beetroot. Style <laughs> He cuts it in half, uh, immediately that goes onto it, like scooted off the hot plate onto a plate, and then they squeeze on a chutney and a tomato sauce onto the plate that you can dip in. Ali! Ali! You have Mark back. Feels like a dream, but no, it's a reality. We're reunited. Joel is here. So beyond excited, beyond words, literally right now. <laughs> We're so yeah, it's, it's so great to be back back in Pakistan again. The warm welcome. We're starting with super, not just nursery burger. This is the ban, super ban nursery burger. Ban. I'm going for the beef chopli burger. All the chutneys. There's more chutney down there, and that handful of onions and coriander, and then um, I think that's even beetroot. And then the patty mm. is just you can see how tender it is. The lettuce is on there. The tomato. <laughs> oh wow, the spices are <laughs> the chutney. You taste like the coriander seed in that meat. The burger is like oh perfectly soft and crunchy on the edges. The coriander seed, that is the nice thing. They can make it We got to give it that honey. And when I see it, I'm going to give it a full swipe. It's amazing. Shot of words, man. <laughs> has the burger. It's a 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 bur
next place that we're going is called Hanifa Hanifia. It's an establishment in Karachi. Hunt to be. And I don't, I'm not even totally sure what it is yet. Mommy we're is for Burger City. Uh -huh. Fast food, fast food tour. Uh -huh. Fries we did see when we started. We're here in the middle of the day, but they said they can make it more. Yeah, we are my type of video. This is Hunter Beef. This is Hunter Chicken. Hunter Chicken. He just sliced the bun and he's just posting it in like a, a hot drawer down below there. Uh, but Hunter Beef, it's the Pakistani version of, of corned beef. Buns are coming out. Corned beef, I mean, like KFC, it's like that type, right? Mm. Yeah. He just puts a, a good wow. like amount of the Hunter shredded beef onto the bun. Um, and then he added mm -hmm. on a tomato, a slice of tomato, a slice of cucumber. The meat actually comes from the, the bowel stomach section mm -hmm. of the cow. Oh, it's, it's kind of heavy. Do you like a, like a half of a hunter beef? <laughs> Let's see that cross section. <laughs> You lost your cucumber. <laughs> like, bacon like the flavor of the meat is not that pronounced. Like corned beef, but not as salty. Milder in taste. Okay. To me, it's not quite as tasty as a burger. Mm. All right. Yes, chal. Honest. Why? Yeah, be honest. Yeah, be honest. But badiya laga jaan ke. Ni to tarif face suni hai maine. वो पहले वाला लग भी ज़्यादा टेस्टी था। वो तो इन्होंने खाए भी तो कितने हैं? चटनी नहीं दी ना? चटनी नहीं उसको। I think वो पैटी भी इनकी पतली थी ना? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. कोरोना में कैसे हाथ में लाओ रे भाई? पुरानी जस्ट। Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We just stopped by the Muhammad Ali Jinnah, which is the mausoleum. He is the founding father of Pakistan, and he's one of the most respected, one of the most revered persons in the history of Pakistan. We took some selfies. We took some photos. Ah, uh, that was that was a great experience. We're on our way now to eat the next. Ali, what are we eating next? <laughs> nice. Nans, cloud nine. Cloud nine of nans. Yeah. The first thing that I do is. Wait, is this the is this the cloud nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait. What, what they do is that they take Jeez, every kind of stuffing and put that into the naan. The cheese, 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 Loads it up with cheese. Oh, here comes the first ingredient. Oh, the Oreo one. Oreo, Nilla. I'm not ready. Chicken, we're not ready. Okay. Pizza, pizza. Calzone type. Oh, this is pizza. I'm eating pizza. Hard to take. Side, me cheese ultra max. Cheese stuff crust. Oh, Oreo, well, I'm gonna have fun. That smells so good. इतनी सारी स्टफिंग वाह 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 भाई जन्नत देख फेंक रहा है अमेजिंग गुड फायर इमीडिएटली बोस्टरिंग बट आई लव हाउ दिस प्लेस इज टोटली सेट अप लाइक अ पिज़्ज़ा अ टेक आउट पिज़्ज़ा जॉइंट पिज़्ज़ा प्लेस द बॉक्सेस आर ऑल रेडी टू गो बहुत स्वाद लग रहा है तो मुझे ये डोमिनोज़ जैसा है ना ये ये वाला सही लग रहा है मुझे सबसे ज़्यादा ची अच्छा ये चीज़ स्टेक वाला All of the nuns are ready. We got five different versions. The one that I really wanted to try, which is the Philly cheese steak. But we also got the sweet one. We got the chicken shawarma. We got the chicken one. He cut most of the others, but I think the खाने का मन कर रहा है ये खाने का मन कर रहा है बेस्ट है ये बेस्ट है Okay, now I will I will like tear off all that beef in there, the cheese. Oh, that does look wonderful. Every naan comes with their own sauce as well, but I, I'll just try it first. Paprika Wow. Wow. The cheese. That is Pakistani Philly cheese steak naan. And that's awesomely good. Dip, dip, dip. Dip is not too sweet. It's really good, right? It smells awesome. 
I love the green cover. And the steak is quite tender. I to say that I have 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 to say that I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if so eventually they had an idea. They said, we're going to make our own burger franchise in Pakistan. And that was back in 1980. Then they opened up their own franchise. They opened up their own Mr. Burger. And we're about to taste it. So it has a unique story in Pakistan. Fresh cheese. Very well loved. Cheese. Um, very well known hamburger restaurant in Karachi. And is it only in Karachi or all over Pakistan? Only in Karachi. Just a big big cheese. And how many branches are there in Karachi? <laughs> Ten branches. Ten branches. Cool. I'm gonna order the the Mr. Big. It's a double patty, yeah. double know. cheese, double onions, double yeah. everything. Oh, it looks oh, pretty good. Cheese beer. Oh, okay, what's going on? What's going on? I just blew off my, my ketchup containers. Okay, that's alright though. Let's unwrap this. Oh, the cheese is oozing. Oh, that does look like an amazing burger though. The cheese is oozing, the double patties. I love how they put them <laughs> As those in the just like sizzle away on the hot plate. Then some of the hot sauce, some of their... It's going to fall down, right? Oh, it's going to fall down, right? And the ketchup goes on as well on the bun. Oh, yeah, that beef. Oh, and another cool thing is that they use 100% pure Pakistani beef. So this is a, a real Pakistani fast food burger. Pakistani beef, I mean? It means desi. Desi. Oh, wow, that's pretty good, actually. The beef immediately stands out. Like, it's all about... You really the best taste the, the quality of the beef and like the crumbliness of the beef. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the beef. Like the freshness of the beef. Yeah, exactly. Okay, who wants to try it next? The first bite I saw it, I saw it juice a little and my saliva glands started working. And my saliva glands started working. I want to bite too. <laughs> Feed, feed the man. We're going to try the Mr. Burger. <laughs> <laughs> you should try it. you eat you eat Yeah. Haven't you tried that before? No, no, no. Are you going to try it? Are you going to The final place that we are at tonight and the final place that we're going to eat at in Karachi before we move Biryani on to Islamabad. It's called Biryani of the Seas. Oh, Biryani of the seas. seas. Biryani. And by the way, I just want to point out yeah. the Sin style <laughs> hat. So we ordered a seafood platter. Well, I think it's going to be served like kind of platter style. But there's fish, there's crab, there's going to be shrimp. Uh, and he is marinating them in two different... One is a okay, spicy okay, masala, okay. one is a more mild masala, but a green chili masala. Wow. I think he brushed on some oil and then that just like smoke just lit up and now he's fanning it off. That smells so good just standing in the cloud of smoke. But they're really slow grilling it so that it like cooks. Uh, it doesn't burn but cooks through and then just has that smoky taste to it. What do you want to start with? I don't know what it is. 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 I don't know what it is.
And again, with the shrimp, we got two different marinades, mm. the green and the, the red masala. And I think this should be like a tamarind dipping shrimp. sauce, yes? Yeah, yeah, it's like this. And that red masala marinade, for me, that's the winner. Because that masala has just caked on there from the grill. It almost looks fried. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> like, like it's kind of dried out, dehydrated, and then all that masala has just caked up into the meat, onto the shelf. Amazing day in Karachi. We've met so many amazing people, eaten some amazing. The, the food has been delicious on this Western Pakistani continental food tour. The buns, the burgers, the seafood. <laughs> See you in Islamabad. Steak man, man. Yay. From Karachi to Islamabad. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ali. <laughs> Please take me to Islamabad with me. It's my sweet. You're going to take me anywhere. I know you'll take me. Uh, oh, yes, welcome Islamabad. to Islamabad. Nice <laughs> transition. Pepsi. Mmm. Ah, to Pepsi, I sub. Fries, fries, fries. And they are very well known for their Afghani burger. Afghan bread. Chicken sausage. he added on some masalas, he added on some Afghan chutney, he added on some mayonnaise, he added on some sauces, some some ketchup. Then what uh, you could get different version. You can order different versions, the chicken, the the beef, the like there's some bologna-ish looking meat. Basically everything is deep fried and then stuffed within that bread with the french fries and rolled up. And from the outside it's just a mystery which one you get. Could be the chicken, could be the beef. You have to come to my city to have this burger. You have to come to Islamabad. The pride, I haven't seen anything along these things. The pride of Islamabad when it comes to food. Their strategy to eating this, I don't, it's, it's one of those things where I don't think you should unwrap the whole thing or you might lose things out the back end. Yeah. Maybe just unwrap the... <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, some extra Afghan Rice chutney. Egg. Oh, that looks good. Oh, oh wow. Oh, 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 I got like an entire mouthful of mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> a mouthful of french fries. Like condensed into bread. The chutneys, the masalas. That's the like unique thing about it. Is the masala blended with the mayonnaise. Just dip it. <laughs> Just do the wipe. The wipe dip. Like this might be the ultimate fast food you could possibly have in like <laughs> <the world. laughs> everything in one <laughs> yeah. definitely actually the sauce that afghan chutney that is the best thing about it <laughs> it's like vinegary it's really garlicky <laughs> After eating half of this, I still don't know if I got the chicken or the beef or the or the shish kebab, and I don't think it really matters. And that is the <laughs> Afghani burger. It's not something I would eat on a daily basis, but definitely at 2 a.m. when you're hungry and need something kind of greasy, kind of oily, that is exactly what you would want to be eating. And also, it's just fun to see them make it. That's just like all things. Main ko the fries jahan dikhe thi main wahi pe. Khana hi Ali was explaining to me that Islamabad is famous for their burgers. So people from Islamabad, they love 
throughout Pakistan from Choppy. Karachi to Lahore, Islamabad is known for being burger lovers. And so we're at a place, it's called Burger Fest. Uh, the smoke is pouring. I love their slogan, let's, let's meet. meet. Which looks like, I don't even know what that center layer is, but it just looks like cheese is just squeezing out of it. This is the best cheese I have. It's a very smoky effect. Cheesy. And smoky. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We got one of the chicken, one of the beef burgers for the beef. Oh, girls, the beef. I like it. They use uh, hot Pura flaming charcoal. Yeah, that's just like a good, solid, hearty, beautiful looking burger. And this one is the beef binda burger. Uh, yeah, that is a beautiful looking burger. I think it's the best in the sub on top. Beef binda is a beautiful burger. That's beautiful. Right, oh, we'll oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, By the way, that's how you say oh, wow. <laughs> in Urdu, right? That is a solidly good burger. They're like the meat, Urdu. the freshest of the meat. And what's amazing, this does taste like a Pakistani burger because you do taste that masala <laughs> seasoning. The beef is so crumbly. The cheese, you taste the chili powder. You can taste the chili powder in there. Chili powder and awesome pepper, awesome black oh, pepper. Man, man, man. A mayonnaise foul. <laughs> some burger swap. You want a burger swap? Yeah. Okay, Ali's working on the chicken here. Chicken with the How's the chicken, Ali? Chicken is pretty good. Swap. The Islamabad swap, the much needed one. <laughs> oh, good job, guys. Morning, good day. And again, wow. like the smokiness of the grill flavor. Smokiness, right? Now? Oh. We stood around and ate that burger and met so many people just standing around in that area. One of the guys that we met, he's like, oh yeah, welcome to Burger Abad. Islamabad is known for their burgers. That was a really good burger. We've got one more place to go in Islamabad. It's that Ali is in the position. God blue handed. God blue handed. It's the time of the day when we're all getting sleepy. It's been a long day, uh, but we're coming to one more restaurant. We're gonna order there. We're gonna order some beef, and I know they're wow. famous here for the fries. I don't take one burger. Sometimes reaching with the mayo. It's a beef. It's a fries. Three fries. Maybe beef or something. Ordered fries. Yeah. And the pepperoni. Where's that cheese? I'm so hungry. My mayo fries. Beef legs. You guys really don't know how to eat fries, come on, you're like in Islamabad, man. This is not how to eat fries. So Islamabad is known for being very proper, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This is how you eat fries. Wow. Next up for the crazy panini, and the crazy panini is one of the panini. It looks like it's filled with, is that chicken? Chicken. Minced. Yeah, that is pretty good. The melted cheese in there. The chicken almost has like kind of a chicken curry flavor to it, but that like melty oozy cheese is what's holding it together. Uh -huh. That's making it really good. And that wraps up this trip to Islamabad. Oh Let's go to Lahore. But Let's Abad. go! Yay! Here we are burgers. Excited. <laughs> made it back just... to the beautiful energy of Lahore. I love this city. We are here to first Me eat too. Lahore roast. And three. Roast. Oh, roast. Yeah, I know it's chicken. Mm. Roast to me sounds kind of like a combination of broiled and roasted. I have no chicken. idea. Chicken. Oh, yes. Yeah, I can immediately smell deep friedness. <laughs> it appears that a roast is not broiled or roasted, but it's fried. fried. And then he put the roast. lid down and, like, it's like pressure cooked. He stuck the lid down, he cranked it tight. Um, that's gonna simmer away in the oil. So that's like pressure deep fried. Is it rice? Steam. 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 Uh, steam. steam. Oh, nice. Oh. Ready? Yes. So how long did that boil for? 10 minutes? Wow. They broasted it for 10 minutes and then he just popped that cover you can hear the mm -hmm. pressure being released. Our broast is ready. Broast is just a fun word to say. <laughs> Indeed. 
they put a handful of fries right on top, and then we also got the steamed version. Another awesome thing that they serve at this fast food restaurant is a mutton joint. That is incredibly crunchy, though. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, bite is good. It's so crunchy, too. It's so crunchy. It's so crispy. My first time ever to broast. <laughs> you just burnt your tongue. I know. Oh, that's hot. Do you have roast strategy? <laughs> Don't suspect any strategy. reaction. I'm hungry for the millionth time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you come here often? <laughs> I've grown up uh, eating this on a roast. Wow. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, that's what makes it unique. It's a little bit sweet, but then you taste some spices in there and sour at the same time. It's tart. Is the steam roast or the steamed chicken? Degi, 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 sorry. That's the degi chaga. Degi must have mirchi. What else do you expect from chicken? No, that's degi chaga. Haha, Ali, my dear. Ali, the maza a raha hai. I find it a bit better than the roast, by the way. No offense to the roast. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, the, the, the steam is like so much more flavor. It's just like caked in spice. You taste the like cinnamony flavors of it. I prefer the steam as well. It's all come down mm. to the joint. Yeah, <coughs> this looks like a big drumstick. Oh, it does look exactly like a. Wait, is this mutton or is this like a turkey? It's more like a turkey. Oh, what tip? Kitty Sundar, kya tha? Yogurt taste like. Oh, all the mutton cut. Mutton and chai. Meat too. Yeah, there's, there's mm. And then you've got like the, the cartilage bits as well. Mm. Mutton joint is great. So, you just got sailing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Especially my favorite thing here was the degi charga. That had some degi charga. great spice, some great chili. That was wonderful. Hello, how are you? I've seen you have so many. I've seen so many. This is something I've never had before and it looks amazing but his I think we'll potatoes he has skills are just remarkable wow. he takes i think that's butter at first he, he scoops some butter onto the hot plate and that just sizzles away then he throws down the egg then he throws down he, he like he does everything so fluidly so quickly he then cracks an egg onto the hot plate he throws down the buns and like he just perfectly yet artistically tosses down the bun onto the egg coating the egg then he takes one of the i believe it's like a potato fritter he puts that onto the onto the hot plate he gives it a little smack with his with a little like hard metal spatula that just flattens mm -hmm. it perfectly. He sticks that Icky into the bun. Everything's uh -huh. so rhythmic. Everything's so fast <coughs> with a like with a rhythm. Oh, He's so artistic. Yeah, this is beautiful to watch him as he makes his bun plaster. Mm -hmm. um, that looks like another treat that you want to be eating at 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> He has absolutely mastered the art of flipping, sliding, <laughs> and flattening things on the hot griddle. <laughs> I haven't had it before, but this plaster joint is right near to the National College of Arts. So, having this plaster makes you more creative. 
<laughs> this entire bun blaster is extremely creative. But he could do this with his eyes closed, that's without a doubt. Yeah. He could bun plaster with his eyes closed. How did it get its name? Yeah. <laughs> we should ask him. Bun plaster, plaster kya bata? Plaster to other, hadi toote tab lagta hai. Nah, 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 it's gonna be, yeah, burger. So there's actually like a history behind this name. You see, the way you plaster a wall, so like you take cement and then you put it on, on top of it. So this is the way, for example, you have to plaster it with the egg. It really does have to do with construction. Wow. That's beautiful. Wow, oh, seems nice. sitting on the side of the street, this is a beautiful Are location. The entire thing could like be a, be a newly constructed wall. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. It's all plastered together. Bun plaster, cheers. Cheers. Oh, they got it. This is really good. And I am amazed how they are serving it. They got it. Did it taste so good? I don't know. I got to give that a big thumbs up. It's delicious, actually. And then it's all plastered together with the cement thing. It's really awesomely good. I thought it was a potato patty, but it's actually a lentil and chicken patty. Oh. That's why it tastes so good. Oh, potato nahi tha wo. Lentil and chicken. Pehle isne potato nahi bola tha. Ha. I'm a big fan of the bun plaster. That was really good, man. I mean, burger without a chutney. Yeah, it tastes so good, and I'm having one more, and I think I'm gonna have two more. The, <laughs> the, the reason for the third one would be the hunger pangs that I'm having. They love the bun plaster so much. Oh, they got man. seconds. Second bun plasters, close. <laughs> I've got to admit, that bun plaster is one of my favorite Western continental Pakistani foods that we've had so far on this tour. That's just wow. absolutely delicious, simple, but just genius combination. That was delicious. When you when you come to Lahore, a bun plaster is a must. <laughs> Next up in Lahore, we are at a place Yusuf called Faluda. Yusuf Faluda shop and they're very well known for all sorts of milk based desserts uh -huh. and even just fresh milk. You can come here and drink a glass of milk. Uh, but we're going to order a couple of their desserts and there's also another drink which is called a Dood Pepsi. So it's where you mix milk and Pepsi. I'm not totally sure the ratio. Uh, but actually it's common to drink at home and people drink it like to but settle their stomach. Uh, it's just kind of maybe fun. I've never had it before. Uh, uh, so we decided we're going to try some of their desserts and then we'll ask them. They don't actually serve food Pepsi here. It's typically drink at home. But since they have such good quality milk, we're going to ask them if they can also no, mix that for us. And we'll taste that along with all the rest of the desserts as well. Here. Here. Kulfi Faluda. Kulfi Faluda. Ras Malai. Ras Malai. And this one? Pepsi Doodle. Yes. Pepsi Doodle. Pepsi Doodle. Pepsi Doodle. Amazing collection of sweets. This place is a legendary place in Lahore, right? Yeah, exactly. here. This one is the Kulfi Faluda. Kulfi Faluda. Which is Kulfi is the ice cream, which is like plunked right into there. Oh, that's almost cheesy. Yeah. Wow. Okay, here it is. My first time to try a Dude Pepsi. I think this ratio was about three quarters milk to a quarter Pepsi. That was about right, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's actually not bad. <laughs> it's actually good. Because, like, it really mellows out the Pepsi. It's milky, and you just taste a little bit of the carbonation. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> something in my ear. If you have that, that would be good at like digestion. It kind of just goes down. Kind of like, kind of feels like energizing yet like like mellow. I believe Mark more than a dream. That is not that is not bad. <laughs> you know what? I believe more than a drink, this is a cultural diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> meeting in one drink. It's like a <laughs> cultures. The matter comes down to the my most favorite, the ultimate key of Mr. Yusuf. <laughs> yeah, you are right. Oh yeah, this is not too sweet. It's mm. it's kind of like pudding. Like it's the texture of pudding. It is pudding. Oh, oh <laughs> pudding. 
a little more texture to it, not quite as smooth. And then again, you taste the cardamom in there. Halfway between butter and today. yogurt. There is one more thing that we're gonna do to complete this entire food tour and experience. Uh, Pepsi is throwing a huge event. We are headed there now and that's going to complete this entire Western Pakistani continental food tour across three of the most major cities in Pakistan. So we have Mark Wayne with us. Here. What do you feel about Pakistan? And so I think it's I think it's amazing that we're I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. i I just wrapped up a 16 day food and travel trip, but more than a trip, it was an experience and a journey through Pakistan. For the second time in Pakistan, please um, just tell us about your journey and your association with Pepsi now. Yeah, uh, second trip to Pakistan, and again, it's been an amazing trip, a memorable trip. We've met so many people along the way. Right. And this time it was like, it was such a warm welcome that it was almost like. It was almost like coming home. Like coming that, back to home, that right? Warm of a welcome. Sweet. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't have to have only street food. You can even have, you know, like this kind of stuff, kind of mix it up a little bit. Sure. Happy to be very happy to be in Pakistan. Thank you always for the warm welcome. I hope you get to One, two, three, go. Oh, the bottom oh, top. It's always the hard one, guys. Spread between yourselves and look <laughs> at the space behind you. This is on video. Oh, look at. We have come to the end of this Western Ali. Pakistani continental food tour. We went from Karachi to Islamabad, finally finishing in oh. Lahore with this Pepsi event. It's the warm welcome, the generosity. Really, like this second trip coming back to Pakistan has felt like it's it's people have welcomed us <laughs> like we're coming home, and so I. I I want to say a massive thank you to everyone in Pakistan. Yeah, and I want to say a huge thank you to Pepsi for sponsoring this video, for making this happen, for inviting us back to Pakistan. I want to say a huge thank you to Zaid and to everyone on the team for their incredible support. A massive thank you to Ali, my good friend Ali, for again for helping, <laughs> for taking care of the logistics. What an amazing trip! What an amazing time! I cannot wait for my next trip back to Pakistan yeah. again. Amazing. What's up, guys? <laughs> Promise you. <laughs> we'll be back for back. sure. We'll be back Mark for sure. Be back. Okay, so that's going to end this video. I want to say a huge thank you to, to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. <laughs> Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Pakistan. See you on the next video. Nice. Oh God. Loved it. Western Pakistani fast food ke baare mein socha bhi nahi tha. Kabhi socha nahi ki burger burger kya khate honge. Because usually jitne bhi humne food vlogs dekhe the, usme kya hota tha? Wo traditional food dikhate hain ki in yahan ki speciality kya hai. Lekin jo ham jaise log hote hain, although we enjoy the traditional food, lekin hume ye cheez bahut fascinate karti hai ki acha yahan jaise ham log burgers kha rahe hain. वहाँ पे वैसा कुछ है कि नहीं, so that made me feel really good कि जैसे खाने हम खाते हैं, जैसे देसी बर्गर्स हमें खाने अच्छे लगते हैं, वैसे वहाँ पे भी होते हैं, and my favorite एक तो था बर्गर for sure, I loved all the burgers, लेकिन जो रैप था अफगानी बर्गर वाला, जिसके अंदर फ्राइज थे, and then सब कुछ था उसमें a special Afghani chutney was there, so वो मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा. That was something new, and मैंने ऐसा कुछ अभी तक के कोई भी पाकिस्तानी के food blogs में नहीं देखा था. मतलब हमने कितने food blogs देख लिया. तीनों जगहों में जो जो भी उसने खाने को दिखाया, हर चीज different थी. जैसे वो जो आप wrap कह रहे हो, उसके अंदर fry. वैसे तो हमने देखा नहीं ना, क्योंकि सारी fries अंदर हैं. उसके ऊपर chicken भी डाल दिया, उसके ऊपर सब डाल के बंद करके दे दिया. Amazing. और वो non cheese steak तो मेरी favourite थी. Steak हाँ. बहुत सुंदर था वो. 
वैसा पिज्जा मैं लिटरली वैसा पिज्जा ढूंढ ढूंढ के खाती हूँ <laughs> और वो दूध और मिल्क वाला मैंने कभी ट्राई नहीं किया वो मैंने ट्राई किया हुआ है एंड आई एम श्योर मोस्ट ऑफ यू ऑल्सो ट्राइड इट उसमें क्या करते हैं कोक फ्लोट पता क्या होता है आइसक्रीम वाला तो मैंने आई नो तो उसमें क्या होता है बहुत लोग करते हैं दूध में दे ऐड कोक और पेप्सी एंड देन दे ऐड अ स्कूप ऑफ आइसक्रीम आल्सो ओके सो दिस इज ये बहुत पुरा ये सब एक्सपेरिमेंट्स हमने आज किड्स की हुए हैं गाइस पर बहुत अच्छा लगा तीनों जगहों का खाना कराची इस्लामाबाद बर्गर बाद पता ही नहीं था अमेजिंग मजा ही आ गया और बहुत डिफरेंट स्टाइल्स वो बन प्लास्टर बहुत बन प्लास्टर बनाने का तरीका बहुत सही था और जो क्या एक वो था मिस्टर बर्गर जो चेन उन्होंने आई थिंक बाहर बनाने की कोशिश की थी दे डिड नॉट गेट द परमिट और समथिंग वो बता रहा था स्टोरी सो देन दे केम बैक टू पाकिस्तान एंड वहां पे वो स्टैब्लिश किया जो मिस्टर बर्गर था वो डब एंड स्पेशली जो डबल पैटी वाले बर्गर होते हैं ना और वो उसपे उसपे कढ़ाई पे ही चिकन और उधर ही स्मोकी स्मोकी चीज So guys, as you know, we are mesmerized by food and especially fast food. So this video has been very good. This was our reaction. We really hope that you liked it. And if you liked our reaction, then like our video. 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 Like